Two people in Louisiana are dead and nearly 350,000 are without electricity two days after Hurricane Delta made landfall. Another person died in Florida from rip currents caused by the storm. During a briefing this afternoon, Governor John Bell Edwards says an 86-year-old man died from a fire believed to be caused by a generator. Another died from a natural gas leak. The governor then traveled to parts hard hit by the storm one day after visiting communities damaged by both hurricanes Delta and Laura. Authorities say Delta hampered cleanup efforts from Hurricane Laura. Well, I was expecting, I was expecting it uh, just because Laura came through just you know six weeks ago, um, and that that loosened up a lot of these trees that had fallen today or last night. The mayor in Lake Charles says it will take weeks, maybe months, even years for the city to recover from the damage. I'm Peyton Lo Cicero in New Iberia. We're on our way to Abbeville. But when, once we started getting to Morgan City on the outskirts, we started to see storm damage from Hurricane Delta. And we're seeing along Highway 90 some damages, power outages, signs down, and trees down. Now, what we're concerned about is how we're going to tell if the damages are from Laura or if they're from Hurricane Delta. We just spoke with a man from this church who says, this is from Hurricane Laura, and the damages that we're seeing on this side are from Hurricane Delta. And that's our concern once we get towards Abbeville, because we know Vermilion Parish was hit extremely hard because of Delta. So far, what we've heard is that 95% of Vermilion Parish is without power. So that's what we're expecting to see as we head down LA 14 to see what kind of damages they have. We'll have updates from there. I'm Peyton Lissisro in New Iberia, News Nation.